This was the final piece of the puzzle we needed to be able to recreate our friend, the GCPD Batman. Ghosts, goblins, alien stories, the world is filled with ancient mysteries. You can turn back now or learn the secrets you are not supposed to know. Hello heroes and villains, welcome to Multiverse. Today we are going to take a look at the GCPD Night Shield. So let's get this party started. So let us consume the shield. And now let us equip it and we can change some of the colors of the shield. Actually, the shield does seem to support the three colors. It's a pretty cool looking shield. And let's throw it around and see what happens. Uh, there seems to be an animation for the shield. Uh, one animation for throwing the shield that doesn't have anything to do with the shield. That uh, doesn't really matter. And I can already hear you ask where or oh, where can we get the shield? Let's take a look. The GCPD Batman NPC is the one that actually drops the shield. The one place where I know that we do fight the, NG, the GCPD Batman is in the Nexus of Reality, but you have to be on the villain side. You have to be an evil villain and go to the Nexus of Reality and then defeat the GCPD Batman. And even then, my guess is the shield is a random drop. So you're probably going to have to farm that mission over and over and over again until you can actually get the shield. So you will have to play the mission on the villain side. If you're lucky, maybe the Task Force X will put your, your character, your hero character with a group of villains. But as a rule of thumb, you will pretty much have to play the, the mission as an evil villain. The other option, which I, th I think is the simplest option, is to just buy it from a broker. So here we can see the GCPD Night Shield for 40 million. Holy crap, it's a lot more expensive than I remember. I bought it for barely a, a couple of millions. So I guess I have to give my usual broker warning. Prices on the broker changes all the time. These are the prices on the broker right now. Tomorrow, next week, next month, I cleared it tonight. The prices could be different. Also, I guess it illustrates one of the things that I, I mentioned in some of my past videos is that you have to go to the broker any chance you get and, and look for good deals. Like uh, if you go to the broker often enough, sometimes you'll find an item that usually is a bit overcharged, but then one day you'll see that someone uh, did put it up for a lot less money. So you go to the broker any chance you get. If you need to repair, go to the broker. If you need to go back to your lair to buy some colas, go to the broker. Uh, if you need to go reimprint your armories, go to the broker. Any chance you get, go to the broker and look for good deals on the broker. Once you get the shield for one of your characters, you can then unlock the style for every one of your characters, but it will cost you 50 replay badges per character. And of course, as you can see, you can apply a material to the shield. I have a video about the GCPD Batman headpiece. I will put that link in the description down below. And for everything else, I'm using basically the Knights of Vengeance uh, chest piece and boots. I'm using the Spindrift shoulders. I'm using the DC Bombshell Harley Quinn gloves. There's a whole bunch of gloves you could use. I'm using the simple utility belt. Again, there's a whole bunch of utility belt you could use. And I'm using the paramilitary pants. You could use also the paramilitary boots if you don't have the Knights of Vengeance boots. It would work well enough. I toyed with the idea of using uh, the Knight of Vengeance pants, but I, I don't think our friend the GCPD Batman should be having uh, guns, but uh, I could be mistaken. So this would be a good option, if not, the Paralimitary pants works well enough. I almost forgot to mention the Batman 80th Anniversary Emblem. Uh, sadly at this point, if you don't already have this emblem, there's no way you can actually get it. I guess a good option at this point would be to use the Flashpoint Batman Emblem if you don't have the 80th anniversary of Batman Emblem. There, this is the enhanced version of the Flashpoint Batman Emblem. You can get the emblem from the broker easily enough. This was the final piece of the puzzle we needed to be able to recreate our friend, the GCPD Batman. 